Alien the Play, a title that I never thought I'd be so excited to be discussing. The last time we heard the media going crazy for a play, it was all about Hamilton. I have to admit this is part of the reason why I never really got into drama in high school and never went to any plays either. Unfortunately, I just could never relate to a bunch of stories from a hundred years ago that have nothing to do with the world I currently lived in or any of the interests that I had. Well, it's too bad that I didn't go to North Bergen High School. In a time when fans of the Alien franchise are going crazy trying to figure out just what is going to happen in the future due to the Fox and Disney merger, out of nowhere comes our savior, Alien the Play. Run by a bunch of talented high school actors, Brian Bonacci on Lights and Sound, Stephen DeFendini on Art Direction, and Perfecto Cuervo Directing. Yes, that's right, Perfecto Cuervo. The group has been able to put on two shows of their hour and 40 minute trip into the world of Alien. The play follows the movie closely with only a few scenes added in for costume changes. When asked about his inspiration, Cuervo stated that he was just a huge fan of the movie. The art director, Stephen D. Fendini, which I'm probably saying wrong, so we're just going to call Stephen D., explained in an Entertainment Weekly interview that the school has a very small drama program and that the play consisted of around 16 students. Stephen D. and his team created the Xenomorph suit from a plastic skeleton purchased on clearance at Target. They then added tubes and hoses similar to the way that H.R. Giger constructed the original Big Chap suit. The crew would spend two months adapting the film to stage. This story has gained national attention and has even reached the eyes and ears of Alien alumni. Check out this message from Ellen Ripley herself, Sigourney Weaver. Hey guys, I saw a bit of your production of Alien and I just want to say it looked incredible. You put so much heart and soul into that and the Alien, I must say, looked very uh, real to me. Um, and I just wanted to send our compliments, uh, not only from me, but from James Cameron and the original screenwriter, Walter Hill. We all say, bravo, well done. And uh, just one more thing. Um, you know, the alien might still be around. So when you're opening your locker, just do it very slowly. And it doesn't stop there. Even Ridley Scott has chimed in with this letter here, along with backing from his studio for their next production. And this isn't the first time that North Bergen High School has taken on movies for plays. Last year, they did Night of the Living Dead. I would kill to see footage of that one, and hopefully more schools pick up on this trend and start doing more modern takes on movies that bring more money and notoriety into the school. Unfortunately, this production has already finished its two-show run. On top of that, they were already dismantling the stage setup before they realized just how popular the play had become. Now with people like Adam Savage on Twitter along with Ridley Scott asking for an encore performance, the crew is at a conundrum. Stephen D stated that he isn't sure if the program will be able to put on any more additional shows. It's not so much that the production was too expensive, it's that it's too difficult to find more time to do the play. Director Cuervo added that not only would they have to redo the sets, but they're going to have to find a bigger venue. EmoKid23, the Reddit user student that originally posted this information on the LV426 subreddit, said that they are working on putting together a film version of the play for all to see. So here's hoping. What do you guys think about this play? Did your high school do anything similar? Would you have joined drama or at least attended an alien play? I know I would, and I would love to hear your comments down below.